Hi folks, welcome to tonight's advanced preview. Tonight we're taking a look at the North London line. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, the first slide. Here we go, North London line. So we've got uh, a map here. I'm going to zoom into the map in a little bit and we're going to take a look at the, uh, the 378 that's included. Um, look, at it's, uh, it's uh, from Stratford on the, uh, on the east over here. Uh, round to Richmond uh, on the west. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the map. There you go. So we've got Stratford uh, and the, uh, this is where the Olympic area is round here. Uh, and you now carry on the journey along here. This is the link down to Dalston Junction and East London line. Uh, carrying on over to here, you've got, um, <clears throat> you've got uh, Finchley Road um, coming around to Bronsbury, Wilsdon Junction. Uh, round to Acton and then across to Richmond. And now this is quite a colourful uh, drawing. What do the colours mean? So red is um, overhead electrified. Uh, blue, which you can see down here starting from Acton, is third rail electrified. It's actually third rail below uh, in the area of the Dalston area as well. Um, and fourth rail electrified down here uh, from Gunnersbury to Richmond. So as what happens here is that the, um, the, the journey actually changes. Um, particularly if you're, so if you're starting in Stratford, it's all for, um, overhead uh, all the way around to Acton and then it switches to uh, third rail uh, and you go on third rail then to continue the journey down to Richmond. The route is obviously, is, as, as always, set in modern day times and um, it comes with the Class 378. This is the Class 378. Um, now the Class 378 was available, is available as a separate DLC and uh, it has seen a number of uh, improvements in uh, this uh, in this pack. Um, if you already own the class 378, you will get all of the improvements. That just will happen. So if you um, so if you previously bought the class 378, I'm going to tell you what the uh, just a couple of the improvements that are really important now, um, and uh, you'll see the um, uh, you'll see the, uh, the those will come to you. Whether you, whether you buy North London Line or not. Uh, so you don't have to worry about missing out. And similarly for Workshop, um, you will find that it's the same uh, 378, which, whichever one is actually being used. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, there is, uh, so there's a couple of changes. So one of the changes is that the, uh, it's now switchable between uh, overhead power and third rail power. Uh, so you can dynamically change it. You've got all the buttons <clears throat> in the cab to do that. There's also a key. You can press the Y key to toggle between them. Um, and you can also... Completely lost my train of thought there. <laughs> so you've got the, the uh, dual format power. Uh, it also comes in four and five car variations. So if I just jump over to here, the five car variation automatically puts up the name, the, the extra board on the front there. In the scenario I'm going to play tonight, you're only going to see four car. The scenario is getting updated to put, uh, to put five cars in it. So, um, uh, but I wanted to make sure that you could all see the five car version is indeed in here. Uh, the other thing with the uh, with the uh, the power change is all animated. The shoes have got a nice animation as the shoes uh, raise and lower uh, as well. Uh, there's been a couple of other minor changes. The actual change list will go out at the time that the, uh, the product is, uh, is released. But one more time, if you've already got the 378, then you will get the updates anyway. Um, so you don't have to worry about there being two 378s uh, and confusing things on Workshop and so forth. So um, that's excellent news. There we go, one more look at the, uh, the five car. So let me just bring the map up one more time. So before we get going, just so that you can see the journey that we're going to be. So we're on, the, on tonight's scenario, we're going to be starting in the Dalston Junction area, which is to the right of the middle there, um, around where Canonbury is. Uh, we're going to be then uh, heading westbound uh, and going all the way to Richmond. And this is a uh, trial service, so coming off from uh, Clapham Junction all the way to Richmond via uh, the North London line. Um, and uh, one of the really interesting things about this journey is because it requires you to do two power changeovers, which you'll be able to see. Okay, so there's not much, uh, no need for delay. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm going to fire the scenario up now. And then get the game loaded. There we go. 
So this is, uh, I had, a, had my first go on this one um, earlier on today and uh, really, really enjoyed it. Um, my hope is that I will uh, achieve the same score that I did <laughs> earlier on. Um, so Deadly Doritos just asked what Locos come with this. It comes with the class 378. <clears throat> that's the, uh, the loco that's in, or the train that's included. Right, let's get some audio. There we go. So, I need to open the doors. We'll get out of the, uh, the underground section here and then we'll get moving. We're on third rail power at the moment. You can see the third rail down here. Uh, Uh, JW Blobman, does buying the North London line give you the existing 378 DLC? It gives you the same 378. Whether it comes with the scenarios for South London Network, I'm not 100% sure. I'll need to find that out for you. But there aren't two 378s. Right. Let's get moving. 25 limits. So this, as always, is an advanced preview. This is not finished, this unit. Um, there's actually a few more changes uh, need to be done uh, on, this, uh, on this unit and on the route as well. So if you see something that you think can be improved, then we would definitely like to hear from you. If you see something that you think is spot on and you really want to let us know that we think, you think we've nailed it, that's really good to hear. The team really love hearing that sort of feedback. <clears throat> All right, so out of the area of Dalston. We're going to take a, uh, a left turn here as we come into uh, Canterbury. I will get some uh, some camera time outside the cab. Uh, it's uh, it's quite an intense scenario in terms of uh, being a passenger stop. The uh, I think this scenario has got something like 20 passenger stops on it because we're, we're stopping pretty much everywhere. Coming up to Canterbury now. <clears throat> Get the brakes on, we'll start slowing down. If you're um, new or newer, to the, um, that's a Bart's warning because there's a speed reduction up ahead. Um, to the, uh, actually no, it's because of the point crossing over going on. We're going to be switching lines in a minute. Uh, if you're newer to the uh, to driving trains and stopping distances, then um, one of the things that's quite nice about this scenario is the timings are reasonably relaxed. So as you can see, I'm coming in here reasonably uh, comfortably without rushing it too much. And uh, we're going to still be in about 30 seconds early. So. It's, uh, it's a really good actual scenario, to, if it's your first scenario that you play, uh, it, or if it's one of the first scenarios you play, then um, you'll find it uh, a really quite a decent one to, uh, to get used to. Let's take a look. So this is Canterbury. It's six o'clock in the morning. in London. <clears throat> right, so get ready to do our next station. What we're we doing next? Highbury and Islington, if memory serves. I think Moggy was just on the route there. Right, we're off. Forty limits. Uh, we've got some reduced limits here as we do this crossover into uh, Highbury. Got a thirty limit just up here. Be aware of that. So this is where we get to do our first power change. Slow 
down to come into Highbury, got 20 limits. So what happens is, as you'll notice, at the end of this platform, you can see the overhead lines start. I'll show that in a minute once we get to, once we get stopped. All right, we're stopping. Doors are open. Let's go and take a look outside. So, here it is. This is where the overhead lines start. And as we come across here, you can see the lines are now there and the third rail is along here. So we have a short window when they're both running so we can switch over. I just realized I've got no lights on. That's very naughty of me. Let's put the right lights on. Our destination is Richmond. But you've got the passenger view, which you're familiar with from the existing one. It's great because you can look down and see, the, see it snaking around. So what I'm going to do is go to the back of the train. And uh, we're going to look. In a minute, once we get past there, you can see the, uh, the pantograph is here. Doors are closed. So, wait until we get through here. Right, see, the track ahead changes from third rail to overhead. These are the controls where we need to do that. Now you're, uh, you're moving, raise the pantograph, and then we'll raise the shoes. But I'm going to do that from the outside so you can see the animations, and we'll take us a little bit longer to do so that we can see it, but that's fine. So if I look up here, hopefully you can see it now. If I... Not pantograph yet. Come on, pantograph. There it goes. Takes 10 seconds to do the power changeover. We'll be doing that again so we can take another look at it, and we'll also have a look at the buttons up here as well. Now we're on our way. We are in a 20 limit at the moment. One of the reasons it doesn't matter if we take a bit longer to do that, because you can't go pretty fast anyway. So we're now running on the overhead wires. If you don't do the power change, the power will run off and you won't be able to carry on. <laughs> so we're just coming into a 40 limit as we get to Caledonian Road and Barnsbury. Right, this is uh, Caledonian Road. So stop to get the doors open. Let's have a look around here. So this is Caledonian Road and Barnsbury. BT Tower there in the distance. Right, off we go. Forty limit now. Next station is Camden Road. Once we get to Camden Road, I'll fire up the 2D map so we can see where we are actually on the map. Just about a mile to go.
Let's take a look outside as we go. Look, there you go. There's the uh, high-speed one over there. All of St Pancras is included over there. Right, we've got a 20 limit coming up as we approach Camden Road. Someone's in trouble. Right, we're coming round to uh, Camden Road now. It's definitely got a very um, sort of compressed uh, feel that the city routes have got. Stations are uh, very close together. There's a uh, high density, uh, high density track work. There's uh, essentially almost all the stations on this line have a single stop marker at the end of the platform, or near the end of the platform in this case. That's Camden Road. So yeah, you've got, uh, if I, just while we're waiting, if I fly back down here, so you can see this is the St Pancras complex. So if, while you're, if you're, when you're authoring your scenarios, I mean, you can still put javelins coming out of here and uh, coming up to uh, along here so that you can see them as you drive past. Javelins are plus 395. So there's, there's lots of uh, linkages. Right, let's get back in our train. It's time to go. 20 limit at the moment, for a little while actually, before we get the opportunity to accelerate to 45, <laughs> just in time to slow down for Kentish Town. You don't really get the chance to accelerate too fast. <laughs> this is, uh, as I say, it's high density commuter traffic, which means it's, uh, it's not really about speed. Oh, I forgot the 2D map, sorry Bob, I will do that next. So just uh, one more time, this is DLC Advanced Preview, folks. So what I'm showing you here is not finished content. If there's anything that uh, you find amiss, then uh, do let the guys on the uh, chat know. Steve and Jay are both on the chat, and they're, uh, they're keen to get your feedback. So uh, if there's anything that you think we could do better, then, uh, then do let us know. Right, we a short uh, sprint to Kentish Town. We're still doing good for time. We're doing absolutely fine. Get to the end, we see this S marker there just behind the post. Good, that's it stopped. Let's take a look around here. Football ground there. It's a very dense, uh, dense uh, population here. Being, uh, still see that BT tower. <laughs> No, yeah, 2D map. There we go. We have a minute before it goes off. So this is Stratford. Uh, this is where we started at Dalston here. 
time to go? Not nearly. This is um, St Pancras, and that's where the HS1 goes. Right, so we'll carry on looking at the map. So we're in a 45 limit now, we're going over half a mile, just over half a mile to Gospel Oak. Let's take another look at the map when we get to Gospel Oak. Carry on our, uh, our map journey. So we have a 20 limit on the approach into uh, Gospel Oak. in time for Gospel Oak. Right, so this is Gospel Oak. Fairly typical station for the line actually with the, the, the way that it's laid out. Despite that fairly relaxed entry we've uh, run into the station here, we're still <laughs> not far off a minute early. So this is Gospel Oak, there's uh, a junction here with another line. Um, so this is where we are uh, and I think the, another part of the overground network heads off that way. This is the Midland Main Line going all the way around here, so this is on the London Bedford Line. So you've got the, uh, this is the, uh, this is our line coming down here. And this is Wilsdon Green. This is part of the West Coast Main Line. It's a big complex yard here. Um, and you this way to Euston. Uh, and you've got the line that comes around here, which is, uh, comes around here, sorry, which is us. Right, so that's got us to there. And then you've got this area here, down to Acton, and then into Richmond where this train terminates. <laughs> right, nearly time to go. There's going to be some really interesting possibility for lots of um, AI traffic that crisscrosses on the lines that aren't necessarily the line the player is on. Um, so you'll get different types of trains that you'll be able to see. So as you start off in Stratford, you'll see um, Anglia trains. Um, and you'll see, uh, not Anglia trains anymore, is it? It's, uh, uh, it's a Bellio, isn't it? Um, and um, as you proceed west, you'll see uh, other trains along the West Coast Main Line and, uh, and so on. So I think uh, our scenarios should, uh, on workshop should have, uh, have got great potential for some really tremendous variety. Right, accelerating up, but we are stopping at Hampstead Heath. Getting slightly overexposed with the accelerator button here. The 378, as always, has got pretty decent braking, so uh, handy for when you're me, basically. Right, we're coming into Hampstead Heath now. The level of details. So, uh, I really like what I really like seeing is all the sort of clutter and so forth on the stations. Um, I saw graffiti on some things earlier on as well. I don't know where they were, but there was uh, graffiti on some different places. It sort of made it all feel really atmospheric. Let's have a look at Hampstead Heath. Have a 
closer look at some of the station detailing. The ramp. Right, I think that bell is our sign to uh, get back in the train and do what we're supposed to do. 45 limits, just under a mile to Finchley Road and Frunal. now 45 limit and we're uh, going to Finchley Road Just can you imagine a scenario where you're in bad weather and you've got lots of red lights and you've got fog and a tough timetable that's what I'm expecting on workshop. <laughs> right, coming into Finchley Road now, and we can see we've got West Hampstead, Bronsbury, very close by. Two brake applications, that's probably not, well, probably one of my better ones. It's quite a nice time of day because you can see some of the lights, it's still bright enough that you can easily see, but you can see the, uh, the lighting in the, in the route starting to kick in, giving it a sort of a, a different feel than you'd get during the day. It's, almost, it's, a, it's like it's coming to life somehow. Right, off we go. It's a 45 limit again, but West Hampstead is just a third of a mile away. Road and Frog Eye, says Moppy. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> that was the last one. This is West Hampstead. Have the braking just a little bit late on this one, so I've had to uh, use that uh, step three. Open the doors. This is, uh, I think, the area with the uh, West Coast Main Line we're coming up to now. <whistles> Off we go. Next station is Bronsbury which is just down around the corner here. 45 limit.
possibly slow down a bit too uh, a bit too fast. Right, so this is Bronsbury. deals for everyone. Got some allotments down there. All right, time to go. Brunsbury Park next. Again, 45 limit to carry us on. So whereabouts are we on the map now? We are here. So we're going to be at Willesden fairly shortly. Kensal Rise is our next stop. Forty-five limit again, half a mile to Kensal Rise. As soon as we've got stopped, we can open the doors. Let's take a look around here. Got containers down there. Bus. Who remembers bendy buses in London? Is that a bendy bus or two close buses? That's two close buses. I'll shut up. <laughs> So we are going to Bullston Junction next, and then we'll head for Acton. Of 
course, as you go over the bridge to Wilsdon, if you look over to the left, you can see the, um, the Zerka depot down there. I forget its name. That's there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. got a deceleration to a slow down to 35 coming up. I'm just going to uh, speed up and then slow down to it. as we get onto the bridge over into what Wilsdon Creek, which itself is on a, on a bridge over the uh, over the tracks below it. at Wilsdon. We'll get stopped and we'll have a look around the area of Wilsdon. It's quite a well-known area, I think, for a, a, lot of, a lot of you. outside. So there's the, uh, the depot down there, West Coast Main Line, yards and all sorts going on. The last time I was in this particular area there was some, um, there was an old 86 in there I think, in electric blue. I think the ACLG were doing something down here. Go and have a look at the station area. Wow, look at that, high level and low level. It's time to go. Right, so as we come round here, we're going to be taking the right switch and we're going to be taking up to a 30 limit. Next station is Acton Central, which is in two miles. So the stations, now we're out of the sort of the busy central area, the stations start opening up a little bit. In, uh, so we've got a fair bit of distance to cover, but we've got fewer stations to cover. And what always catches me out is this downhill running here. <laughs> So whereas previously the route has been reasonably flat or uphill, um, now it goes the other way round and there you go, we're already on downhill. So I can just keep watching the speed, just to keep it all in line. Just about leveled out again now, I think. There are only subtle changes in gradient, but there's enough to make you actually have to um, watch, watch the speed. You can't just assume. There's got some gravel, uh, some graffiti up on the floor, on the top there. Got a 35 limit coming up. over a mile now to uh, Acton Central. I 
Right, we've got 35, so I'm just going to accelerate up to the line limits. Now we're going to be going downhill. You can see on my mini HUD that it's going downhill, and sure enough, the speed is picking up. Central is just up ahead. Just managing the train down this descent. For those that have just joined, uh, once I finish this scenario, I'm going to go back through the uh, the slides we did at the start and just give you a, an overview of the uh, the pack and what the route is, where it goes from and to. We'll take a look at the map uh, in detail and uh, and what the rolling stock is. So you won't miss out. Right, coming into Acton Central now. Let's have a quick look outside. So we're in Acton now. Sorry, we're in Acton Central. Let's be precise. Let's have a look at the map so we can see where we are. So we're here now. We're at green line on blue line. <laughs> so that's where we, st uh, where we started here at Dalston and we've made our way all the way around here. Got plenty of time on the map so let's just have a look at what we've got to come up. So we're going to come round here past um, South Acton, Gunnersbury, uh, Kew Gardens, uh, and then into Richmond, down here. Right. Off we go. Next station, South Acton, just a bit over half a mile away. So as we leave South Acton, we've got a 25 limit we just need to be aware of. Ah, we've just changed over. Right, so now I need to do the power change thing again. The pantograph goes down, and then around 10 seconds later, the shoes have gone down. I think the shoes are on the other side. <laughs> but we are now powered by third rail. Someone asked if there was a place where you could change power at speed. That pretty much was it. So to change over between overhead and third rail, I'm just pressing the Y key. Um, automatically handles everything for you. Um, there is the uh, the buttons up here with individual control over pantographs and shoes. You can put them up and down independently. So this is South Acton, 
Let's get stopped and we can take a look around. Those buildings rather make it difficult, don't they? <laughs> right, let's get back in. Off we go. Next station is Gunnersbury, about three quarters of a mile ish. It's a technical measurement. Twenty five limit now. As we turn around into Gunnersbury. We've got a 15 limit coming up, and we're going down a hill. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Coming into Gunnersbury now. It's more uh, graffiti on the bridges. Makes them feel really real, I think. Really real? Is that, is that a thing now? And now, if you remember, this is where the, the map changes to being four rail. Um, so, uh, as you can see, we've now got the central power rail as well. I think the central one's the return rail, actually. But either way, all right, we'll just come into here and stop. Birdies, birdies twittering. Right. Multi-story car park here. The world is definitely starting to light up now as the as it's, it should be switching off. It's getting to morning. Turn the lights off. <laughs> Some reason I thought it was getting darker. It's six o'clock in the morning, by six forty three in the morning, which is still a bit still a bit early for my liking, if I'm honest. Let's have a look at the station, check out some of the data, details, those sanding boxes and the rubbish bin. Gunnersbury. Oh, it's time to go. Get back in the cab. Focus on what you're doing. Right, next station, Kew Gardens, platform two. Let's get sped up. 
So we've got uh, about a mile to Kew Gardens and then we'll have our last stop Richmond after that. Get up to 45. Very pretty. Now we'll focus on what you're doing. We'll fly through a station. We don't need to add another name to the list. Alright, this is Kew Gardens, just entering now. This is Kew Gardens. Stop there, let's have a look around. I'm being sent Skype messages specifically to see if they can put me off. Because <laughs> that's how it is around here. <laughs> Another uh, London Underground round all over here for Kew Gardens. Right. And we're off. Richmond, 1.3 miles, 45 limits, final station of the scenario. Thirty-five limit leading down to a fifteen coming up. We've got a first adverse signal here. So that's double yellow, which means uh, we are clear up to Richmond. This is the uh, uh, signals that uh, end up with the red of the. Uh, uh, the other end of uh, Richmond Station is its terminus. Right, slow down to 35. That's the more advanced warning of the speed restriction coming up. So we're under the speed restriction now, and we've got a 15 coming up just around the corner. It's the first time we've... I don't know why I'm all of a sudden getting drive quality penalties. <laughs> why is that happening? Oh well, there goes my score. I don't know why I'm getting drive quality. I've got 300 points of drive quality penalty there, and I don't know why. Oh well. It was going so well. And now I'm going to get over speeding because I got distracted by that.
Right, nearly there. Oh, so disappointed. So disappointed I could have got a thousand points. Never mind. As I said, this is all work in progress. I've thoroughly enjoyed this drive, I have to say. It's a really nice work. And we've only been over to Dalston because the bit we haven't covered is the line over to Stratford. And that's us stopped. So let's have a quick look while we're here, just to finish the looks. This is Richmond. And of course, then the line goes through here. wait for the, uh, the timer to do its thing and we are all done and then I'll just give you another summary of, uh, of what, uh, what we've been looking at. There we go, so we've got 686. Ooh. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that run. So let's, uh, let's just have a look at the uh, all that drive quality stuff sideways. I wonder if it was the uh, super elevation around the corner. Never mind. Right, moving on. Let's have a quick look then at the product just for those that are uh, just joining us. Um, this is the, so it's the North London line, approximately 17 miles between Richmond and Stratford, uh, part of the new London Overground Network. So we've, uh, let me look at the map here. So I'll zoom the map up. Boom, the power of technology. So we've got Stratford on the east. Um, along with Maryland and Pudding Mill Lane. Um, then you uh, take the North London line through Hackneywick, Homerton, uh, Hackney, Canonbury. Uh, you've got the link to Dalston Junction, which is the, uh, where the, the East London line, or the former East London line, uh, joins in. Uh, then the line carries on to Gospel Oak, um, and on again you go via Bronsbury, um, Kensal Rise, Wilsdon Junction, which is the uh, overpass over the West Coast Main Line. Uh, you go via Acton, uh, which is where you power change again back to uh, Third Rail. Um, and then we carry on via Gunnensbury, Kew Gardens and Richmond. Of course, you've got lots of, lots of lines crisscrossing around. St Pancras is uh, all included for your AI trains to, to use. And the middle and main line there, all the way to um, uh, West Hampstead, Thameslink. So there's uh, uh, plenty of uh, capacity for AI trains to be able to use the line. Uh, included with the pack is the class 378-2. Um, this is, if you've already got the 378 that's already available, this is exactly the same 378. Uh, you, it's not a second 378. Uh, there have been some updates to the 378 to uh, improve it. One of the major improvements is you can now switch between overhead and third rail. And they also now come in five car versions as well. Um, but if you've already got the 378, you will receive those upgrades um, automatically once uh, North London Line is released. Whether you buy North London Line or not, your 378 will be upgraded to the correct version. And then when you're using them in workshop scenarios, it's the same 378, so it doesn't matter uh, if you create one uh, on the, uh, having bought the 378 with the North London Line, someone else who um, uses that 378, on, and assuming it's not on the North London Line of course, uh, they can still run the scenario if they only just own the 378 standalone because they are the same thing which will make workshop a lot simpler. Um, and then of course, as I mentioned, you've got the five car version as well with the, uh, the extra board on the, uh, on the front uh, to celebrate the fact that it's five car. Excellent, right, that is basically the preview. So all that's left is to give a couple away, I think. I think that seems reasonable. So I'm going to say that our first one is uh, What's going to be my first keyword? It's going to be overground. 
So we've got the two. So the idea of this is that I've given you a keyword, overground, which you will type in into the chat. Um, if you're not on the chat, you can't take part. Uh, once you type that in, it will enter you into the giveaway and will give you, uh, I will then wait a little bit of time. I'm going to press a magic button that will then pick out a name at random. Uh, and then uh, that will mean that you win a copy of the North London line when it's released. It's not available yet. Once it's released, we'll get in touch with you and we will uh, get you your key sometime within 28 days after the launch of the product. Keep an eye on your Twitch messaging. That's where you will be get, we will be getting in touch with you. Right, so we've got plenty of people entering. Don't forget to type overground. We've got someone typing underground. That won't enter you into the competition. Overgrown. Someone's typed the Wombles. Of course, it had to, really. Overground, folks. All lowercase letters. If you think you've typed it um, in the wrong way, then type it again. It must be all in lowercase letters if you want to enter. It doesn't matter if you haven't think you feel free to type it in again just to make sure that you are entered. Right, I'm going to do a countdown now and we can, uh, we'll see who the winner is. And roll it. Our first winner is Aston Martin DB. Congratulations. Let's uh, let me just make a note of your name so that I can we can get in touch with you once the North London line is launched. Like I said, it's uh, sometime within 28 days after the launch of the product. Right, we have one more to give away. So for those that wanted to have a go uh, or, uh, or uh, would like to have a copy, um, let's have one more, shall we? 378. 378. The digits. Yeah, 3, the 7, and the 8. Um, if you can type that in, I'm not going to say in lowercase letters because that will confuse me as much as anybody else. 378 is what you need to type into the chat. So if you can type that, that will enter you into the giveaway. Good, we've got lots of people typing it in now. So if you're not sure what to do, do what they're doing. They know what to do. They've got it. So give that another uh, few seconds and then we will, we will call time on another winner. We've got people typing in random numbers now. <laughs> Three seven eight. Yeah. Three seven nine. <laughs> <clears throat> right, I'm going to do a, uh, do the uh, do the countdown now. And we'll roll it. Our next. Ah, look at this. A Dama O four five. Congratulations to Dama 045. Oh, trying to type on the chat. <laughs> right, congratulations to Adama. That's it, folks. That's all I've got to give away, I'm afraid. Two copies. So that's uh, what we've just, just one more quick overview. North London line. There's the map. Stratford on the right, Richmond on the left. The class 378, which has been upgraded. If you already own the 378, you will get the updates. And the uh, five car version with the uh, the thing on the, the thing. The, let's be a little more precise, the board on the front. All right. I am just checking with my colleagues to make sure that everything else is all covered before we sign off. If you've got any feedback from what you've seen today, remembering that this is a, uh, an advanced preview, then um, please do get in touch with us and uh, we'd, uh, we'll take that on board. Uh, as I said, Steve and Jay are on the chat right now, and so if you've got anything, you can type it straight to them. Uh, otherwise than that, contact us on Facebook and, and uh, Twitter and Engine Driver, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much, everyone, for uh, joining me today for this uh, advanced preview. Thanks also to Steve and to Jay for... Uh, doing a superb job on the chat and uh, I will see you all next week for the next advanced preview. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.